The rift that was here is gone now, which means we can reach the place you were trying to go earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all of the all of the rifts, and we've been able to save. We'll be able to save your father. Yeah. You there. A moment of your time. I am Lefty, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Oh, Princess Zelda! I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Er, uh, why are you wearing that? So, we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Try accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Try. You can see Try. I thought the whole point was no one can see Try. You can see me? Yeah. Who could miss you? You're floating right there. And aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Mm hmm? So Lady Emba couldn't see you. How odd. Yeah. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? Mm. If I recall correctly. <gasps> yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense that she'd send you there. Hi. I'll lead the way. Follow me. What if I don't want to? We've got this path ahead of us. Although I assume that's just going right back into the dungeon. Over here, princess. Let's travel together, shall we? How dare. You can't force me to go where I don't want to. I mean, apparently you can. Right here, princess. <laughs> Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Lefty. Lady Impa is my colleague, and... Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, we'll only be a moment. No, 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 I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no. I've got to go save Link. Hmm? Hang on there. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him well? What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, Princess. Phew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well? You're telling me that we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Maybe because you were both in the rift? Yeah, yeah, sure. But back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? Again, you were both caught in rifts. We're, we both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts changed people somehow. Well, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah. I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lewberry. I'm Impa's older brother. Is he a character in other Zelda games, or did they create him just for this? Because I've never heard of Impa's brother. Everyone always talks about Impa. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mm. Mr. Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Mm. Princess, remember that big, nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. 
See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanished without a trace. After which, townsfolk would say they'd been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The Sword of Might Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hoped would be of use to Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch if we keep, take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out. And yet, the rifts keep coming. Clearly, we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. So how did I end up over there? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then? Hey Zelda. I'm going to fly up high and look for some of the bi other big rifts. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Okay. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the other people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Bye. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. Oh. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and the Jabul Waters. Please let me know if you require further information. All right, princess. I leave it to you to find the king, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Uh, yes? You want to chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered it's highly effective against rift monsters. Aha, uh -huh, you happen to have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigations into the rifts, I met Link, who's from Southorn Village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword. Meanwhile, I've continued forging things with Might Crystals. See that machine in the corner? I decided to enhance the sword. Looks like it's got a face that's, like, screaming. <laughs> yeah, looking at the sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some might crystals. Check the machine in Luberry's house to enhance your weapons using might crystals. Yes, please. What do you want to enhance? My sword or my energy? 
I assume my energy means how long I could stay in swordsman form. Versus my sword probably increases the damage. It's not clear enough what they do. I have enough for the my energy, but not enough for my sword. Alright, check out the machine when you want to enhance something. I wish you were more descriptive, sir. I'll be here helping Mr. Lewberry investigate the rifts so we can better support you. Princess, how can I help? Let's talk. I keep thinking about His Majesty the General and Link. I hope that by mending the rifts, they'll be returned to us. Tell me about rifts. But right now, there are large rifts in the Jabal Waters and in the Gerudo Desert. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. Jabal Waters. Jabal Waters is northeast of here. It's home to the Zora, who are remarkable swimmers. The residents are divided into the Sea Zora and the River Zora. On the coast, soon after entering the Jabal Waters, there is a small Hylian fishing village. I'm sure the villagers there will have interesting morsels to share with you about the local area. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. And the Greater Desert? Greater Desert is west of us. It's a harsh land with high temperatures and sandstorms. Skilled warriors known as the Gerudo live in a town far into the desert. Oh yes, I also forgot to mention, they're all women, not a man among them. They're often on patrol near the desert entrance, so you may want to talk to them there. Well, thank you. Farewell. Please take care of yourself. We're counting on you to find the King, the General, and Link. Anything of interest? Yes. Blueberry's Diary is here. The crystal I unearthed in that, at a rift site, what I'm now calling Might Crystals, has strange power. The monsters that sprang from the rift seem repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights and research, I've developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals as well as to enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in Southorn Village tell me that Link was among a group of kids who were st stolen away. The kids made it back somehow though. Remarkable. All of the kids who were taken by rifts have lost something. For Link, he lost the ability to speak. Despite all he has been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. So Link actually is silent in this game. And everyone has lost something. I wonder if that applies to anyone who's been returned from the rifts. Then it hit me. This young man might be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow I'll visit the Southorn village again. The Sword of Might I entrusted to Link packs a wallop against those rift monsters as I hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster, who we believe is creating the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more might crystals. Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings come through as clear as day. I've decided to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue to help Link. Is this the bow? Link stopped by. He's off to defeat that blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as best as I am able. I gave him some other weapons, too. Yet I cannot help but worry. Please, stay safe and return to us, Link. Okay. Uh, the bomb and the arrow, I assume. Yeah. Bomb and bow. Not just arrows. So we can go to either direction. This side is closer. But they did tell us about the Jabor waters first, which might indicate that they intend me to go there first. Well, I think I'll go to Gerudo first because it's nearby. Is that a wanted poster of Zelda? This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Also, I was hoping that 
that diary would tell us what the difference between upgrading our energy and upgrading the sword would be. And it did not. Wanted, Princess Zelda, if sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule. That is, in fact, a wanted poster for us. Well, this just takes us down where we already were. Yeah, nothing else to see here. So we'll just head back up. Oh, hey, spider. You are a different spider than the one we fought before. You learned the Kralchula Echo. No, no, no. Alright, you're a little bit too slow to fight these guys. Or not. Apparently you're doing fine. You're going to fall in water. <laughs> yeah, spider, you're not going to do good against the walking tank that I have. I think we've explored everything in this kind of area. I guess let's keep going up and explore the whole area until we get to that branching, that new path. Oh, there is a heart piece up there. I was wondering why having all these pillars felt like there was some puzzle there. And it is to some extent. I have to figure out how to get up there. Link, Link, are you there? There's so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Well, that worked out for me. Saving the day is always the hero- Huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that. That hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name's Verley, and I'm a resident of Southorn Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I'd chop my way to Southorn Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make the a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared, and well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you, you'll take it. 20 rupees? I will take it. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Southorn Village. He's been a light to us all. But right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well wherever he may be. If you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southorn Village will be there for him when he comes home. I should go back to Southorn Village to see if there's any of the people, well, I guess specifically the person who has returned, had anything to say about it.
Goodbye, slime. You guys are Octoroks, and you're going to shoot at me. And I don't believe I have any means of dealing with that besides changing to swordsman form just so I can have a shield. Which feels like a bit of a waste. Alright, so if I want to start climbing... the best place to do it. Looks like these center ones are lower. Huh. How? So I'm thinking I could put a bed there, but I don't really have a good way of putting a bed there. Nope. So what if I summon a bed here? Nope. That. Then, oh, I can't walk up this? Oh, that'll work. I just need to... Oh, nope, that's exactly what I want. Shift it over a touch. There. Then I just need to get up there myself. Somehow. Let's see, how would I do this? Problem is you can't rotate things as far as I'm aware. All right, you can go away. So if I put down to trampoline, I have no way of getting rid of just that one. So I'll want to Summon the trampoline first, and then the beds. And there's really no way to rotate. that there. Ugh. No, this is still gonna work. It's just being a bit more finicky than I was hoping for. Okay. So now the trampoline will be first to go when I create new items. Uh, sure. Nope. There. Got there. 
Wasn't he gonna leave a heart piece lying around? So yeah, we've got this lake that I think I just want to avoid. Because I'm guessing Zelda is not going to get a shield. Left that rupee behind. Uh, hello? Oh, this is another three... Come on, friend. Ah, you're being so mean. I mean, I think this would eventually work, but I don't think it's necessarily the right solution. So, what else do we have? We had the other spider. Can you do anything for me? Enough. I want an item that's three high. That would be magical. Just a single item. Let's go here. Put a trampoline there, a trampoline there. Then what? So I could summon a fourth item. I could summon this. I guess I should have... It's going to fail because... I didn't summon this first. The rock's going to be the next one to go. So we summon... The little trampoline first because we want it first... To disappear. Then we summon the rock. Then trampoline on top of it. Then you. And a trampoline on top of you. Anything else that's too high that won't shatter? Doubt it. Okay, they can survive. Darn. But that even stacked up to the same height, which means I wouldn't have been able to jump up there. What am I missing? I thought the Crawlchilla would have worked. But I can't get it to actually target anything up there. If we leave and come back, is the Crawlchilla going to still be there? Like, is it going to respawn? No. And I can't target that rupee with my target.
Okay, now you worked. Why did you not work before? Is it because I threw it directly at the wall? Maybe that changes how it performs? I don't know. Okay, that's all of that. So now we want to go around, check up in there. Ah, the shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prankster that blocked it off? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. <laughs> well, I know the fire guys can burn. Oh, or I can just push it. Well, not as if standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Uh, not sure how much longer I can wait here, huh? It's clear. And with the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. Ah, oh, a cool breeze. A clear path. And the sweet taste of convenience. Okay, so this takes us to... a different area. Got it. Well, while we're here, might as well just grab this. This waypoint has been recorded. You now warp here using the map. But I did want to go back to Southern Village to talk to those people. So let's do that. I'd almost forgotten about that. We can use the path that goes to up the field now the rift is gone. By the way, stranger, that cloak of yours, did someone give that to you? It's just that it looks exactly like one a young man from this village wears. Oh. Give it a bounce, miss. Yeah. Hey there, thanks again for saving me from that mob of monsters. If you ever run into Link during your travels, mind passing on a message. Tell him we're all eager to see him come ho back home to Southorn Village when he can. Can you believe it? My wife is back home, safe and sound. I didn't know what to do when I saw her swept up in that rift. So anyway, that cloak of yours, it's just like Link's. Is that what's in style in that right now? Oh. Hello there, traveler. Mind if I bend your ear? Things have been a mess lately with the rifts and the monsters and whatnot. It's got my wife worried sick. I was thinking I'd cheer her up by bringing home something rare. So I go on a little walk and what do I find? A giant plant of flies. But wouldn't you know, near those caves deep in the forest, I lose sight of the thing. Now I'm half convinced I imagined it. I have no idea if I'll ever see that plant again. A flying plant. Okay, I'll keep an eye out, I suppose. I've been told that my husband kept calling to me when I was trapped in the rift. If he'd been the one to get stuck, I'd have been too scared to approach it. That's made me fall in love with him all over again. I'd be embarrassed to tell him that. Anyone else have anything to say while we're here? I mean, these floral nectars are not that rare, it seems. So that's neat. 
I doubt there's anything down here now. No. More floral nectar. Let's see. Ah, you restocked your supplies. What's purple? Yeah. Purple poach potion. Drinking this will recover hearts and energy. Very effective, but kind of bitter. Uh, just browsing. Mm. Oh, okay. Hey. Drink to recover energy. This potion tastes odd, but is wonderfully invigorating. I mean, kind of want to have that on hand, so if I need the sword ability, I have it available. You got blue potion. Drink to recover some energy. Thank you for your patronage. We'll buy another one. 30 is not the end of the world. Thank you for your patronage. Again. I guess let's go back to here and then head south rather than continuing north to get to the Gerudo Desert. We'll save this area because we could just keep exploring. Eventually we'll probably run into rifts that would block us. Maybe I should just keep exploring to find the full path that we're able to explore. Find the flying plant. Right. Caves deep in southern forest. Where is... Oh, this is southern forest. Is he saying it was, like, right here? I mean, I think that's the only cave I know of. Deep in southern forest. Flying plant. You want to visit the still world again? No thanks. So we can go through the dungeon. Uh, apparently we can't. I was like, can we go through the dungeon both in the still world? But no. Dungeon is completely blocked off here, but we could go to the dungeon in the still world. Which is different. Okay, so there's a flying plant near some caves deep in the southern forest. Oh dear. Go, my minion. Thank you. More grass that can be explored. I just saw that there were caves over here. Thought that might be related. Though again, I don't see any flying plants. Okay, I stand corrected. Uh, no? Stay away. Now pull it over. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
You want to give that to your wife, Mr. Old Man. Huh. What is the level of summoning on that? Only three. Seems like a pretty powerful summon. To my very unaided eye. I wish Zelda had some sort of sprint. Right out. Yeah, seems like a pretty powerful attacker. No, I want to lock on to the chest. You get out of here. You're telling me I can't lock onto the chest and just pull it off. Of course not. Then, oh, let's use you since you're already here, because using something physical means I don't have to summon it. All right, what do you got for me? Ten more grapes? Uh, only five this time. Where are we even going? Oh, right. I was going to go back to... Uh, apparently, we can put down pins. Need to know, I guess. Yeah, we're going back to Southern Village. That's the old man's who's making the sword, right? We want to go south to get to the village. I found this horrible flying thing for your wife. My current best combat thing, but you want to just give it to her. I saw that giant flying plant near the caves deep in Southern Forest. At least I think I did. Maybe I dreamed the whole thing. I think you said something about your wife. Oh, now he recognized it. What? That's it. That's the plant I saw. You took the time to go find what find it for me. Well, thanks, traveler. I should go grab my wife. She'll want to take a look at the... Huh? This thing's not a plant at all. It's a monster. Help. Phew. I really had no idea what I was dealing with. I'm sorry you went out of your way to bring it to me. But well, there's no way that would have cheered up my wife. Oh. Honey, you'd better... Be you went to all the, that trouble just to make me feel better? Uh. 
Oh, Thera, did you hear all that? Well, your voice does carry, you know. There was no need to do all of that for my sake. I'm perfectly happy as long as I have my darling husband with me. Oh, shucks. You've always been good at making me blush. Once things settle down out there, what do you say the two of us do some traveling? <laughs> that sounds nice. Tonight, let's think of a place to go together. You got it. Thanks for bringing me what I asked for. Here's something for you. Ooh. You got a mic crystal. You can use it to enhance for enhancements at Lewberry's home. <laughs> Honey, what about Seaside Village? I hear Lake Hylia is lovely too. Dear, there's no need to decide now. We've got all the time in the world to mull it over. interesting they're talking about when things settle down but the rifts have always existed and they've recently been getting worse and they're just like oh yeah once things are just happy again it's like why would you automatically assume they would be getting better ever yep. all right again let's warp back to here this time we'll actually go south to start heading towards gerudo desert <laughs> 